Cassius, we need to use the expunction device. What are you doing? Hold on a second. No time. Stop right there. You can't physically use it. What do you mean we can't? It's not functioning at the moment. We're still trying to determine the optimal way to fix it. <sighs> Why did it have to break now of all times? If you're in a hurry, might I suggest using the one in the Ancient Institute instead? There's one there? Of course. Most of the devices here are reproductions of ones in the Ancient Institute. <sighs> Thanks a bunch, Cassius. I love you. Come on, we need to make for the Ancient Institute. We've got no other recourse, I guess. Let's book it. This is Kenny. I have an update, sir. The Chrono ship has just entered Fakreed Four's orbital trajectory. What? I hope we make it in time. Do you think you'll be all right, Captain? I'll contact you later. We have no choice. I wouldn't. Who's that? General Alma. As part of Kronos' militant faction, he tops the galaxy's most wanted list. How kind for someone of his stature to greet us. So, he's behind all this. Fidel! Relia? But how can that be? Sis, what? Really, uh, did she say sis? Are you too imbecilic to realize the instrument you have is not really a... What? The one in your possession is Feria, and it is the foundation upon which Kronos is to build its new world order. It also differs from the unit you hold so much extraneous affection for. Thus, I doubt you will mind returning it. Why is a famous general fighting in the galactic equivalent of some backwoods Hicks family feud? Interesting question. I could ask the same of you, Captain Kenny. Oh, just how do you expect to save little Miss Starlight from all these heavily armored troops? If all the reports I have received on you are correct, well, I believe your name is Fidel. So, Fidel, if you possess even a modicum of sympathy for that thing, stand right there and don't move. Retrieve ferry for me. Nikki! I know that light. Activate the neutralization device. So, the boy is the catalyst after all. Fascinating. With some modifications, we should be able to draw even more power from her. Bring her here! We'll be taking Feria with us. Thank you for holding on to her, Fidel. 
Due to your act of kindness, we were able to collect precisely the data we needed. <laughs> Take us away. Relia! Damn it! The Institute! They seem to have warped out. Now she's not even in the same sector as us. Isn't there something we can do to save Relia? Anything at all? We'd have to get our ship back before we could do anything else. And how long will it take for you to get it back? It's scheduled to arrive in a day at the earliest, but we'll likely arrive in two. Then all we can do is wait. Wait. This is a problem between the Federation and Kronos. There's no need for you Fakredians to get involved. It's too late for that. Don't take it the wrong way. She was thinking of your well-being when she said that. If you come with us, then... If we go with you? Then... you may never be able to return to this planet again. Even if we do save Relia. We might never see our home again? <sighs> if you wish to join us, be prepared for that eventuality. Those of you who remain undeterred can assemble in Santa Roll. Understood. Okay. You've already made up your mind, haven't you, Fiddly? Yeah. I'll always follow your lead wherever you take us. Maybe it'd be a good idea to return to Stahl first. I'll let you choose the way. Kenny here. Captain, our vessel will be arriving in Fake Creed 4 Sector in approximately 17 hours from now. Contact me again once you enter orbit. Do you think Fidel and the others will come? What would you do in my shoes? Would you be so eager to conduct research in an unknown land? If it meant possibly throwing everything away and never coming home? <sighs> I bet you would. That's why you're not here now. If a true researcher somehow dropped a valuable piece of evidence into a bottomless pit, he jumped right in after it without thinking a whit about his own safety. <laughs> right? What a poor excuse. I wonder if he believes it. As a central Rasulian officer, I have a responsibility to care for my subordinates and protect the country from harm. It would be wrong to forget that. On the other hand, what of Fidel? I can't in good conscience abandon my mentor's own son. Please, Master. I need your guidance. What would you do in my shoes? Fiddly, you do recall when you guys took me in, right? Yeah. So many were killed. Like Papa and Mama and more. Not to forget your own mom. Because that wicked illness beset our little town. It was disastrous. I know I was certainly at wit's end. 
But then you said... These words. I'll take care of you like kin. Dry those tears, right? Stop that blushing here. <laughs> My dad was always another lance. Meaning my world lacked structure. I bet taking care of you is why... I'm still here today. You think so? <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> We're no longer... little kids now. No, we're not. Well then... Can we, uh... Sorta, kinda... I don't wanna... Stay your sister any longer. Well then... I'll stop being a big brother to you. Then can I... Call... You Fidel now? Works for me. All right, Fidel. Here on out, I won't allow any people to hurt you. I should... I should say that, not you. Let's go. Our pals will want us back soon. Whoops. 